Hello, welcome to the Moment in Christ channel. May the peace of God be with you and your family and friends. Today we will be sharing a biblical excerpt from Corinthians 1, but first leave your prayer request. That we will include your name in our daily prayer book, subscribe to our channel and leave your like, so you help the channel to share the word of God. 1 Corinthians, Paul, Apostle of Jesus. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, and all the saints of all Achaia, to the church of God at Corinth. Grace and peace come from our God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy, the God of all comfort. He comforts us in all our tribulations so that we can also comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort that God has comforted us. Because Christ's sufferings abound in us, our comfort abounds in Christ. But if we suffer, it is for your comfort and salvation, or, if we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which is produced by patiently enduring the same pains which we also suffer. Our hope in you is firm, knowing that you are in affliction and comfort. Brethren, we do not want you to ignore the calamity that has befallen us in Asia, because our situation is worse than we can bear and we are desperate for our lives. But we ourselves condemn death, so we trust not in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead. Who saved us from so great a death, and did it, we hope that in him he will also save us. You also help us to pray for us so that, through the mercy given to us by many, you too may be grateful for us. For this is our glory, the testimony of our conscience, that we live in this world by the simplicity and sincerity of God, not by the wisdom of the flesh, but by the grace of God, and especially with you. Because we don't write you anything other than what you already know or recognize, I hope you recognize them by the end. Just as you also partially perceive in us that we are your glory, even as you will be ours in the day of the Lord Jesus. With this faith, I want to come to you first, so that you may receive a second grace. Let you enter Macedonia, for Macedonia come back to you, be taken to Judea by you. Am I using frivolity in considering this? Or is it what I think, I think according to the flesh, in me there can be yes, yes, no, no? On the contrary, as God is faithful, what we say to him is neither yes nor no. For Jesus Christ, the Son of God, preached among you to us, that is, to me, Silvanus and Timothy, it is neither yes nor no, but it's there. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like.